You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it Hello, my darlings. <laughs> How are you all doing? Hope you're all okay. Uh, cleaning motivation video. Excuse the state of me. I look an absolute state, but it's cleaning day. So, you know, there's no glamorous uh, makeup or clothing or hair today. Just getting stuck in cleaning with my dodgy tan. <laughs> It's got to, it's nearly all off. I've just got to scrub the remainder off and redo it. So excuse all that. Uh we're here for the cleaning, not the uh glam today. So I'm gonna start in this area here. I've got all my cleaning products on the bed, which I've got to move off the bed because I've got to make the bed. <sighs> the logic round here, blonding hell. <laughs> so yeah, I've got all my cleaning bits ready. Starting in the bedroom and my en suite and then we'll move around the rest of the house because all the rooms need doing. I'll try and keep the video as short as possible, you know. Well, I know you guys like a cleaning video and you like to see me razzing round at 10 times the speed <laughs> on a time lapse. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a start and uh, I'll see you in a bit. When I look at you like that you lose it completely Losing track of space and time I don't want to go home looking for a reason To stay here all night I wonder, do you feel it too? Magic between me and you The way that you make me feel You wonder if I feel the same The blood's rushing through your veins And then when I say your name Bet I'm mission making this bed seven foot bed so you know I'll get all my daily steps in walking around this bed making it and when I'm changing it oh my god I, it's a job that I do just on one day because it just really really takes it out of me uh, because it's so big you know and heavy on your arms like the, the feather duvet you have to shake it uh, yeah so that's the bed done anyway Make me feel You wonder if I feel the same The blood's rushing through your veins And then when I say your name Bet I'm everything everything you need uh, Just thought I'd show you I'm using this Zalflora um, Multi-purpose disinfectant In the Midnight Blooms because all the furniture in here is high gloss so I don't use like furniture polish on it because it just leaves streaks I always use like a cleaner and this smells beautiful so that's why I'm using that on there just in case you wondered what the hell is I doing <laughs> need, need, you need, need I'm everything you need but I'm So that's that little area done. Let's do the um, wind still. need cleaning really bad <laughs> but that's a whole nother job balls <laughs> I've just broke one of my candles oh bugger it look the candle fell on it. 
Oh well. You know what though? I never even realised that they was glass. I thought they was metal. But no, they're glass. I mean, they are money a quid from Poundland. I can pick another one up when I'm there. They've still got on. But uh, yeah, it's broke. And my, my uh, uncle used to say, oh well, said Nell, there's an owl up my arse, it'll never get well. <laughs> I don't know, has anybody else ever heard that saying or is it just us Midlanders? Uh, so anyway, yeah, oh well, said Nell. The reason it gets more dusty up that end of the windows is because you know shaking the the quilt and stuff every day when I'm at the bed and the, all the dust flying because it's nowhere near as dusty down this end so yeah I think that's what that is. Right, I'm just going to get rid of this bit of rubbish here and then we'll do like by the telly and everything so I'll be with you in a sec. Oh, I've gone a bit light headed. <coughs> Ooh, see you in a minute. Stay to me. <laughs> that is uh, everything uh, dusted and cleaned in here. Just got to take the hoover around. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean and then I'm just going to hoover all the way through as the last job. So, yeah, in here is done. So, we're going to move into the bathroom. Whoops. <laughs> so, I'll see you in a sec. Fill 
Ball style, I've got this little one that's got like a little spoon on the side. So I'm going to fill that up as well. That's it, there's a bit in there, so when I have my bath, I'll just use that bit up and then we've got rid of all the There is only one of you, only one of me There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beating to the... There we go It's not too bad in here, to be fair It don't get that bad, the shower bit's clean Everything's clean, it's just the grandbabies was here Hi. When the grandbabies was here, they they went in that uh, in our shower. So yeah. Right. Let's do the sink. Put the other way to breath. Um, 
but the Tesco one is just as good and the Fabulosa one's really good as well. So when I've finished in the shower, I just spray the glass on the inside and it stops all that, you know, the watermarks and everything. It really does work. So I highly recommend that if you've got a glass shower screen. It takes the, I mean, I haven't cleaned that screen with glass cleaner, God, for ages, because this does it. It's like a now clean spray, if you know what I mean. Just spray it on and it just gets rid of all the, the uh, watermarks and everything. And the only reason I cleaned it today was because there was shower gel marks on it, do you know what I mean? But normally nothing sticks to it because uh, this is on it. So yeah, highly recommend that guys. Right, so that is uh, the bathroom door, apart from the floor, oh, let me just wipe my scales over. That's it, right. All I've got to do now is the floor. So, uh, you know what time it is? It's five to seven at night. I've been doing this for three hours. Two rooms have took me three hours. So, I'm going to call it quits for today. And uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow and we'll do the other rooms, which aren't so bad because they don't really get used, they just need a quick going over. So, I'll see you tomorrow guys. Love ya, bye. Good morning, <laughs> it's the next day and um, I'm in the hallway so this needs a little bit of a clean the, the table here and stuff. Hope you're okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to crack on. Um, God, I look really, really pale. <laughs> the lighting's not the best in here because um, there's only the door as like, you know, um, natural light coming in. So yeah, excuse the lighting, but I'm going to crack on with this little area here, and yeah, I'll see you in a bit, get me cleaning stuff. in the hallway at all. Just that and there's a couple of, well there's a little shelving unit down there. But it's so dark down there so you know you don't need to see me clean that. <laughs> right uh, I'm gonna move into um, my little dressing room you know where I'll get ready and clean in there first um, because there's, there's more to do in there than the other rooms. So I will See you in the next room. So I'm in the dressing room now guys. I've took all my little bits and pieces off ready to uh, start cleaning. I had my lunch, had some scrambled egg on toast and it was bloody lovely. So right, got some energy now to crack on. We're doing some more cleaning. Yeah. But bloody hell, it's a nightmare to keep clean. It really is. So 
Let's see, that's that little area done. Turn the light off. Um, so, just do the rest of the room now. So, I'll just move you over here a little bit. I'm just going to do that shell. Still, sun's come out. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. Right. That is. In here, polished. All I've got to do is over, uh, and there's the little bathroom in there to do. So let me just get all my little cleaning bits organised in here. I need that for the bed. This room smells of alien. <laughs> from this exotic bloom stuff and this is the crease releaser Right, that's in here done. Oh, this smells. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. So, yeah, all I've got to do in here is hoover. Uh, so, now I am going to do the little bathroom. Now, one of the bulbs has gone in there, so I don't know what the light's going to be like, but we'll see. So, I'll see you in the bathroom. The lighting's not too bad in here. Oh, I've got it in the doorway, so it's not too bad. I know I'll be okay, cause I find my way. Oh god, tell you what, this smells beautiful. It's gone a bit dark in here now. It looks like it's gonna rain. The sun's gone in, it was out for two minutes, and now it's gone in again. Now put a bit of that on to give it a scrub. Right, let's see what the situation is. We've got it all extreme close up. Getting you in here to do the shower. Right, bear with me. Move my feet on the floor. <laughs> right. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. That's it. Right. Now to clean the inside of the shower. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. If I let me figure out where it is. Oh, it has a roomy bone crack. 
Oh, bloody hell. I'll tell you what, it's gone really dark. I think we're going to have a right storm. They are forecast bad weather, ain't they? It's just now oh, this table back over there. Turn to the way. Right, there we go. All that's got to be done is the floor. Let me just get these bits and pieces out. That's rubbish. Right, I'll be back in a sec, guys, in the next room. Whew, see you in a minute. Hello, my darlings. So, <laughs> I know I said that I was going to do the other bedrooms, but I've done them and, you know, they, they weren't too bad, so I just flicked through them and they'm done and I didn't film it because, you know, you, you can only do so, like, want to watch so much cleaning. So, I'm in the kitchen and there's the rogue... Uh, deep fat fryer which is now all clean and new oil and everything so i've got to tackle this now it's not as bad as i thought it was down here uh, i think a lot of this is the old um stove that was here when it was a school which is still all functional and everything so it's dribbled all down the side and i think most of it has gone oh, under here it's not as bad as I thought it was, so it shouldn't take too long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use elbow grease and kitchen roll to wipe it all up. And then I've got some warm soapy water to um, mop it all. And then I'm going to clean the oven as well, because that's epoxy and all. So I'm going to put you on the uh, tripod and let's get scrubbing. The, all the fat up um, it weren't that bad to be honest it wasn't as bad as I thought it was a bit of a mucky job but um, I'm just going to get some uh, soapy water now with some floor cleaner in some flash floor cleaner and wipe it over with an old cloth and then I can push the um, cooker back I've got to do the side of the cooker and then clean the oven so I'll just get some soapy water. I'm just gonna do the side of the cooker because this took the brunt of it. Just use some flash. And uh, I've got boiling water in the in the bowl out the kettle. So I'll put my rubber gloves on so I can uh, keep it as hot as possible. Just give this a wipe over. That water down seem to have cut through the grease marks. I don't know whether you can see them. So I'm just going to let some of this uh, soak into it. I love this stuff, this elbow grease. I'll just let that uh, soak in for a little while and go back and do the floor there we go done let's see if this uh, elbow grease has cut through them grease marks the water look at the water the grease Nothing worse is there than bloody working with grease. It's a nightmare. Well, let's see if this has got rid of these marks. Well, it's better than it was. There's still a few. Well, that's it. At least it's nice and clean now. Uh, another job ticked off the list. It's the best though, but... Yeah, maybe when it's dry properly, it'll be okay. So I'm going to get this pushed back in and then we'll do the the oven. So I'll see you in a minute. 
So I'm going to do the grill first because that's not too bad. It gets used the least. So I'm just going to give it um, a quick wipe out. As I say, this gets used the least. Um, so it's just not, not really that bad at all. As you can see, it's quite clean in there. Um, I tend to use the oven for most things and not the grill. Certain things that I do grill like fish fingers and obviously cheese on toast and stuff like that. Mind you, I said it weren't that bad. Look at that. Poxy. Just don't realise, do you? And this is a job that I absolutely hate doing, is cleaning the oven. You can get professionals in, can't you, to do it? Uh, but, you know, got to look after the pennies at the moment, haven't we? So, yeah, get it done ourselves. Right, I've got to put my rubber gloves on again. I've got some boiling water here, you can see the steam. And I've got my, uh, what's it called? Um, thingy, my bobby. Dishmatic. So I'll give it a little bit of a, a scrub with that because it's worse than I thought it was. There we go. That's in there done. There we go. So that's the grill done. Just got to wipe the glass at the front. There we go. That's the grill done. Now for the oven, bloody hell. Now the sides of the oven apparently I'm self-cleaning, but the bottom's not. And as I say, I use this all the time. I'm going to let me look at the state of the door. Now, I know that you can unscrew these, I think, and stuff to clean inside, which I'm not going to do today, but I am going to get less at some point because it's mostly on the inside. I am going to get Les at some point to um, take the glass off for me so I can give it a good clean on the other side. But most of it is um, on the inside. And these need a good going over with the Brillo pad, so I'll do them. But these, these I'm self cleaning, so you don't have to touch them, it's just the bottom and the back. It's not as bad as I thought it was. It's the glass that's the worst. But I've got this stuff. It's barbecue and oven cleaner, so. Hello. Hey. Are we all talking to the oh, camera? <laughs> I'm filming. I was just saying that um, you can get this glass out. Yeah. But I'd ask you to do it at a later date because it's mostly on the inside. I am a scruff. <laughs> Les says I'm a scruff. <laughs> you know, even though you cover all your food with foil and everything when you're cooking it, you just can't... You know, you could be the cleanest person in the world and your oven's still going to get poxy, isn't it? So, yeah, look at that. So I've sprayed it with this stuff, barbecue and oven cleaner, and we'll see how we go. I'm going to have to get my uh, dish matic on that, and I'm going to spray it in the bottom here as well. Oh. You know what? That's loud better than it was. There is still some bits on the bottom, but I think giving it a couple of goes might might help that. Oh, my knees. Oh, God. Now, we're going to have a go at this. Ooh, 
seems to be. I'm wondering whether I should get a Brillo pad on that. Maybe. Let me get a Brillo. Oh. See whether this uh, this helps. That looks loads better. I know it still looks a bit um, dirty, but that is definitely in, on the inside. I've got a, you know, in, in the middle. So I've got everything off that I can, and I will get Les to do uh, unscrew it for me one of the days. He's actually outside doing jobs at the minute, so I'll ask him to do it for me another day. At least I know that the worst is off. Whew. Let's give it a wipe over with some kitchen towel. There we go. Whew. So, all I've got to do now is Brillo pad the um, trays that go on the inside. Just give this side a little bit of a wipe over. Oh, it looks so much better. I feel loads better now that's done. We won't let it get so bad <laughs> in the future. Mind you, I always say that. As I say, it's a, a job that I actually hate doing. As you can see, I don't know whether you can see, there is a few little marks on the inside, uh, the, the in-between of the glass. So that's a job for a later date. But for now, my darlings, that is the oven and all the chip fat got up. I've just got it, I'll give the floor a, a mop afterwards when I've done dinner and stuff. So yeah, hang on, let me just, whew, I am sweating. Let me just tilt you back up. Oh God, that's killed me. I'm boiling hot. Oh, well, at least that's uh, that done. The chip pan's all clean. The oven and the grill are nice and clean. Well, cleaner than there was. Just uh, the glass needs getting out, like I say. And that's it. So, my darlings, whew, I think I'm going to finish this vlog. Excuse the background. <laughs> it is what it is. It's a, an old school kitchen. You guys know this, so... Yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm going to finish this vlog here. I can just see some, some marks on the side of the cooker. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little cleaning video. I hope it's given you some motivation to get stuck in. I think sometimes we all just need a little kick up the backside, don't we, to do stuff. Especially jobs like cleaning the oven. The fridge is next. That's got to be done. But I'll do that in a, a different video. Um, you know, clean and sort the fridge out and that. Uh, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll just give you a little update on mum as well before I go. Because loads of you have been asking how mum is. Uh, she's been moved to a temporary care home out of the um, rehabilitation unit hospital thing. And she's now in a temporary care home. Um until we find one that's more suitable so you know at least she's in a care home and she's settled and she's been taken care of yeah and she's doing really well so thank you guys for all asking and you know sending your thoughts and prayers and hugs and love and all the rest of it i really do appreciate it and yeah if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button, <laughs> whichever you please. It all helps uh, if you haven't already. And if you're new here and you enjoy these kind of vlogs, you know, it's a lifestyle channel. I do everything from um, makeup, fashion, hauls, um, cleaning, all everything to do with lifestyle. Uh, please consider subscribing down below and popping on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I do upload. And also, leave all your lovely comments down below and I'll have a chat with you guys down there. I am getting through the comments. I've got tons, 
tons. So I am trying to get through them. You know, I sit down for half an hour each day and just try and get through them. So I will be getting back to you all. And um, yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I'll see you all soon. I've got some uh, nice um, content coming up. I've got uh, some brand content. Um, I think I did tell you. Uh, two clothing ones, a jewellery one. So, yeah. And also, you guys loved the snack surprise box. Thank you for all your lovely comments on that. I really, really enjoyed doing that. And you guys said that, you know, you want to see more in the future. And I do believe they're going to be sending me that box every month if I read the email properly. So there'll be more of those to come as well. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to uh, scrub the... Um, trays from out of the oven and get some dinner on chicken dinner today winner winner chicken dinner so yeah i'll see you guys very very soon i love you all loads bye